Because I did because I just came back from northern Uganda and southern Sudan, and I talked to young people who were abducted by uh, the the Lord's Resistance Army, who were made to hack people into pieces, and they're only fifteen years old. And it took me over an hour of gently prodding them to even get them to say a word to me. And you should hear what I should what I'm going to say about that. Now, when you go in to do that, now, like be, because in this in the sense of this ego thing and about because you're you're a fairly monolithic guy i mean you know you represent rollins you know when you say rollins people know rollins yeah, but i'm all i'm all i've got i mean no i get that it, but but like when you go into these things in order to, to to have the humility to to absorb the emotions of those situations that you're putting yourself into i mean you know how do you approach that what what is your real agenda out of just instead of just curiosity when you say i've got to get this information i've got to engage in this because that's a very tragic story like when you yeah. went in to talk to these kids, you know, how did you how did you go about it? It was really tough. I mean, you have to play analyst. Just yet, we asked them about all kinds of things they were doing. What are you learning in school? And then, okay, you know, after about forty five minutes, literally, it, it, we, we interviewed these kids for almost three hours just to get them to say a sentence. Uh, this was a uh, like like three weeks ago. Say a sentence related to the horror. Exactly. Right. Uh, just to get them, and we, then slowly we go. Okay, so you were abducted. Um, how long was your abduction? What were you made to do? And all of a sudden, these kids go from quiet to very, very silent. And then finally, one will say, you know, little little sentences come out. And f we got some information. But by and large, uh, in two different interviews, we inter interviewed a total of seven children who yeah. had been abducted by the Lord's, Res the, uh, Lord's Resistance Army in northern Uganda. And uh, whew, they w had to hike into southern Sudan, and they committed atrocities yeah. uh, it was it was tough but I, I i try and get an understanding of the world it's one of the ways i try and understand my own country america is to leave it and see what it how it manifests itself in other countries how it washes up on other shores what globalization really looks like you know what what thomas friedman's wet dream sure. looks like in cambodia yeah. in vietnam and these places and that that's what i attempt to do